he's going to tell you a few uh, housekeeping matters. Aloha. I wanted to uh, welcome you all here to our beautiful campus. And uh, uh, actually, Bob left out the word arts. We do do arts here, too. Uh, martial arts and <laughs> visual arts. <laughs> but um, uh, just to explain, uh, this is um, the campus uh, for the high school um, during the school year and during the daytime. And after school's over, uh, this place is uh, a community learning center. It's um, owned by our nonprofit Arts and Science Center, and they graciously um, uh, let us meet here tonight. So this is not a school function. I just wanted to make that clear because school is a state, and uh, this is a nonprofit uh, uh, facility. Housekeeping: uh, There's some uh, restrooms right um, behind me on the patio right there. So if you gotta do, and. Um, you know, um, I'm sure we have a lot of differences of opinion here, so I just want to say that I uh, respect this school and respect each other. And uh, have a good night. Thank you. So, um, basically, Punapono Alliance is a community organization that is going to be working to prevent any further geothermal development in, in Hawaii in general, and uh, that's based on our experience uh, with the existing geothermal power plants and uh, on uh, the alternatives that are available uh, for economic reasons and health and safety reasons. So this all started about, nobody uh, was really aware of what was going on here about three, four months ago. I found out about this and uh, I started talking to the neighbors and nobody had any idea that they're planning a thousand megawatts of geothermal power here in, in Pune. And so as we started asking questions about it, uh, it just uh, was amazing to me that, that uh, what they have in mind is going to totally transform Pune into an industrial area. And they also not only want to build geothermal power plants, but they want to build ammonia plants to manufacture ammonia and hydrogen and other things like that. So that would be quite a change from the lifestyle in, uh, that we live here in Pune now if this happens. So I called a few neighbors and about 25 people showed up at the first meeting. Uh, and then the second meeting we went to the Akibono and we had about 100 people. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, we went to the Pohoa Community Center and we had over 100 people there. Then we went to the Akibono, we had 100. Then then the politicians started getting interested, particularly uh, Dominic Yugong, and uh, so he brought the county council out to Pohoa, and that was the largest county council meeting I've ever seen. There were there were maybe 400 people, between three and 400 people came there, and uh, and that overwhelmingly uh, testified that, that this is not something that we want to see done here in Pune, and. and uh, the interesting thing too is that the state hasn't, they haven't came out here and talked to us. They, they planned all this stuff, they passed all these legislation. I mean we found out about it and it was towards the end of the legislative session and we couldn't even keep up. There were so many bills that they were passing for cable and, envir and exempting environmental and, uh, reviews uh, and there was, I don't even know how many, it was amazing. We couldn't even keep up with them. Almost all those bills passed, and almost all of them were supported unanimously by our elected state representatives. And none of them ever came here and talked to us. Department of Health never came out here and talked to us. So that's what that's what we're doing. That's where we came from. And this is not something we've been through this before. A lot of us here um, in this room were here 20, 25 years ago when they tried to build 500 megawatts and when they built the HG, uh, HGPA plant, I mean PGB plant down there. Um, so, uh, let's see, a lot of things have happened. Um, so, we were able to uh, get Dominic Gigong on board and the county council. We've got five, five members on the county council, Brittany Smart, uh, Pete Hoffman, um, Dominic, um, let's see, who else? Brenda Ford, sorry, and uh, Angel Pilago. 
and they've been supporting the bills that we've put forward. One is to change the relocation fund back because there's a lot of people that, that actually want to move out of there. And what's happened is they've changed that fund. And the process was uh, such that you really couldn't get relocation. I had applied for relocation years and years ago and was not able to get it on a technical reason. I know Aurora, she's here, she, she waited four years and until we got Billy Kanoi in, in uh, Pune and pinned him down, she hadn't been able to get relocation either. And in fact, in 20 years, they'd only relocated seven people. And I, I gave up, I sold my house and left, I, I didn't think I'd ever get it. Um, so we, we have now six bills going forward at the, at the uh, county council and we really need people to come out and testify. We've had really good turnouts for those bills and we've, we've got them all passed so far. Every one of our bills has passed. Uh, two of them have been heard. Bill 256, which redefines the Geothermal Community Benefit Fund to turn it back into the Relocation Health and Safety Fund. Bill 257, which uh, directs the Civil Department of, I mean the Civil Defense Agency to prepare an emergency response and evacuation plan. And there's a new bill, 267, that's going to amend the uh, asset fund. Uh, it's going to add sections of geothermal, to, to create the geothermal benefit fund out of the asset fund because it hasn't been tapped. And a lot of people felt like, you know, they, they are opposing the changing the uh, relocation fund back to health and safety because we want health studies, we want monitors, those are the kind of things we're asking for and those bills will be coming forward. But a lot of people were worried because they're getting roads and security guards and stuff out of that money. So the asset fund hasn't been tough. So there'll be another, another bill coming forward to start using the asset fund for some of those benefits. But they're going to put together a community uh, commission and uh, five people I believe will be appointed from the community that'll help to get decide how that money is spent because right now the way that money is spent is just whoever is the council person at the time can decide and take that money and, and do what they want with it. So um, we have a really, a really uh, important hearing coming up on July 2nd. The PGB is going to bring the Department of Health down to the County Council uh, and give a presentation and the Department of Health is going to say that uh, they don't see any any problem with the power plant and uh, they don't see any health impacts um, and they think it's safe and that's what they've always said. The Department of Health hasn't came out here and talked to us about it. They haven't surveyed anybody. I mean how would they know that? They haven't even came out here and talked to us. So they're going to go into the County Council and they're going to tell the County Council that it's all, everything's all good and that you know there's no problem without ever coming out here and seeing if there's a problem. The last time we talked to the, the Department of Health was about 20 years ago and they came out to the Pahola School and they were saying the same thing and at that time we had HGPA which was just open venting and PGV was open venting and there were, everybody was sick and everybody was really upset. That meeting lasted about a half an hour or so and they had to escort the Department of Health out of Pahola by police guard because the community was so upset with uh, how they were treating us and nothing has changed. I mean we're not going to get any help from the Department of Health from the state. If, if uh, you know we're going to do anything about this we're going to have to do it ourselves. So um, also every Wednesday through the end of July there's a women's group that meets in Leilani Community uh, Center, Le the uh, community center there in Leilani at 6 p.m. They're doing a health survey and uh, there's a lot of women that have been participating. So if you know anybody that lives in the area that has uh, health problems, a woman that hasn't filled out a survey, it would be great if they would uh, want to go down there and fill out a survey. And that's going to go to, that's the beginning of the house study that we're doing. The community, we're going to do our own house study, we're going to bring in our own experts because uh, we just don't trust them to do it. There was one done by Dr. DeGator back in, uh, I think it's 92 or 93, that found problems. There were a lot of problems in the community. And the Department of Health said, we refuse to recognize that. PGB refused to recognize that. So we're going to try and bring that same team back here and build on that. They're going to they're look at those same people now. They're going to compare them. 
at that time they looked at 93 people that were in the impact zone and then they took a, another group that was in Hilo to compare them and they found 90% of the people were impacted, had health problems because of geothermal. Um, but the Department of Health and everybody just said, no, no, we, uh, we can't trust those people because they are all anti-geothermal. So whatever they say, we're not going to give them any credence. And the health the Department of Health did their own study, um, health study, and uh, they refused to talk to anybody that said they had health problems because of geothermal. And they came up with a uh, no problem. Everybody was fine. So I'm going to turn this over to Carrie right now. And uh, I, I really hope, you know, we need help. We, you know, we're doing a lot, a lot of people doing a lot of good, and we need help on these committees, and we need help uh, at these hearings, especially on July 2nd. When the Department of Health comes down here to tell the county council that there's no health problem, we really need everybody that has a problem with this power plant to show up there, and I'm hoping that we can get a couple hundred people there. So please uh, tell your friends and neighbors. Um, I, this is a huge, huge project, billions of dollars. I mean, this is giant. The four, they're they're going to run over us like we're a speed bump if we don't do something about it. And we've done pretty well so far, and we can have a say in how, how this Puna is going to be developed, but we all got to help. You guys are going to have to come out. What time? Uh, it's, it starts at 9 o'clock on July 2nd. Oh, I'm sorry. Brittany's telling me that one's going to start at 8 o'clock. Normally they start at 9, so 8 o'clock on July 2nd. Uh, and then also on the 19th, we're hearing these other four, uh, these other geothermal bills, and that one starts at 9 o'clock. So if you can make it or you know anybody, please come.